During the One Piece time skip, Makino had a child. She was seen in Fusha village holding her baby while the citizens celebrated Luffy's return. But have you ever wondered who the real biological father to that kid is? Well, majority of fans speculate it is most definitely Shanks who clapped Makino's big fat cheeks as soon as Makino announced her pregnancy. To escape child support, he pretended to go shopping for milk but never actually came back. But what if this is totally not true? Think for a second, after the release of the viral movie One Piece Film Red, us fans held our balls sky high and stood firm on our belief that Uta is indeed the real biological child of Shanks who popped out after he banged a white haired chick. However, with most crazy theories out there, Uta cleansed his ass cheeks tight and let out a big strong fart to completely blow this insane Uta Shanks theory. This means there isn't even 1% guarantee that Shanks was the one who injected his seed deep inside Makino. Despite all this, the mysterious father of Makino's child remains unanswered. But lucky for you, I have spent billions of hours on the internet scrolling through infinite websites and sources to present you the best father candidates for Makino's baby boy. So without any further ado, fasten your seatbelts tight and grab some popcorn because this is going to be one hell of a ride. But before I present you the best possible candidates who banged the Makino, let's learn more about Makino as like Shanks, she has made incredibly few appearances in the story and most of you watching out there know little to nothing about what Makino is really packing. Makino is a young woman of average height, has black hair, reaching just above her shoulders, dark green in the anime and brown eyes. 10 years before the current storyline, we see her wear a yellow kerchief and orange blouse with black sleeves a long light blue skirt and orange sneakers with white soles. While her outfits change like seasons, they typically resemble her initial attire. For example, when she encountered Ace, her outfit consisted of a white sleeveless blouse and a pink striped shirt beneath. Her parents matched her current look 22 years prior with the only difference being a yellow bandana that covered her big fat forehead more. Makino, a kind-hearted woman, is a close friend to Shanks, his crew and Luffy standing out as a significant figure in Fusha village. Her deep affection for Luffy positions her as an adopted mother or sister, supporting and taking an interest in his dreams. She is content with any path Luffy chooses as long as he is happy and with friends. Once, she even jokingly mentioned Luffy running up a treasure tab. Often seen with whoop slap, she listens attentively when he speaks about Luffy's aspirations. Contrasting with the villagers' general celebration of Luffy's pirate achievements, having known Luffy since childhood, Makino has kept up with his adventures. She expressed her sorrow over Ace's demise and was thrilled when Luffy's bounty increased after the time skip. She maintains a good relationship with Shanks and his crew, once hosting them at a bar. Makino often visited the Dan's home during Luffy and Ace's younger years, delivering imported ale and food. After the Marineford War, she defended Garp from the Dan, emphasizing Garp's grief over Ace. Ace sought Makino's help to learn proper manners to thank Shanks, amused. Makino responded playfully, a reaction that both irritated and endeared Ace to her. She was deeply saddened by Ace's passing. Now that you have learned more about the people Makino is affiliated with, let's dive a little deeper into her past before I reveal you the possible candidates who hammered her cheeks. 24 years ago, while playing, Makino informed Whoop Slap that Garp had ventured to the mountains. 12 years ago, she made her debut, serving Luffy, Shanks and his crew at Party's Bar. She and the village mayor were among the few who confronted the bandit Higuma when he abducted Luffy. During Luffy's and Ace's childhood, under Curly Dadan's care, Makino seemed to spoil Luffy, Ace and Sabo with new clothes. She once brought imported ale to the bandit's hideout, where Ace sought her advice on meeting Shanks. Observing Ace's blush, Makino playfully responded. She later witnessed Ace's departure from Mount Kulubu's coast. Makino bid Luffy farewell as he left their village on a small dinghy. Upon learning of Luffy's 30 million bounty for defeating notable East Blue pirates, Makino working at an inn whilst as the village celebrated. However, Whoop Slap cautioned against excessive celebration. Makino was extremely happy about Luffy's first bounty and she expressed this openly with the mayor, praising Luffy's companions and their adventures. After the Battle of Marineford, when Garp established a marine headquarters in Fusha village, Makino prevented Dadan from attacking Garp, empathizing with Garp's grief over Ace. This emotional exchange led Makino to ponder about Ace and Luffy, making her tearful. During the Straw Hats two-year time skip, 
Makino mysteriously became a mother. She was spotted in Fusha village, holding her baby, surrounded by proud citizens, anticipating Luffy's return. Upon hearing of Luffy's bounty increase after defeating Doflamingo, Makino joined the Dadan family and Fusha village in their celebrations. In the reverie arc, we see Makino holding her child, gazing at the sea, pondering about Luffy's whereabouts. Whoop Slap interrupted, showing her a newspaper article about Luffy's exploits in Toto Land, surprising her. After the reverie, Makino read unsettling news about Sabo, leading her to close her bar for the day. Reacting to news of Garp's disappearance, Makino, reassured by Whoop Slap, believed Garp would return safely. She noticed her baby, recognizing Luffy's face from newspaper stories. Now that you have a PhD level knowledge about Makino, let's explore her potential mates who she allowed to inject their seed inside her. The first mate is, surprise surprise, Luffy. What if Monkey D. Luffy, our beloved rubber boy, is the secret father of Makino's baby? I know, I know, it sounds absurd, but hear me out. Remember, when Luffy left Fusha Village, Makino was there, sending him off with a tearful farewell. Now fast forward to the From the Decks of the World arc, Makino is seen with a baby, and guess who's making headlines in the newspaper? Yup, Luffy. Could this mean Luffy made a pit stop at Fusha Village? And well, you know? We have all seen how Makino treats Luffy like an adoptive son. Could it be a cover-up? Maybe. She's playing the long game, pretending to be an adoptive mother, when she's the real mother all along. Let's face it, Luffy's not your average guy, with his reckless behavior and desire for making friends and enemies. Who's to say he didn't have a wild night in Fusha Village? And we all know Luffy doesn't really think about consequences, especially not nine months later. So why hasn't Makino come forward with the truth? Perhaps she's protecting Luffy, knowing that the responsibility of being a father would be too much for a carefree pirate. Or maybe she's just enjoying the peace and quiet, raising her little rubbery bundle of joy without the chaos that follows Luffy everywhere. Next up, we have a second culprit, the fiery devil ace. What if Podcast D Ace, the fiery and charming big brother figure, is the secret father of Makino's baby? We all know Ace had a heart as warm as his fiery abilities. His tragic death left many heartbroken, including Makino. Could it be that their bond went beyond friendship, leading to a secret love affair that resulted in a little flame of their own? Ace always had a soft spot for Luffy and his friends. He even turned to Makino to learn proper manners to thank Shanks. This close relationship could have easily blossomed into something more intimate when no one was looking. The timelines seemed to align just perfectly. Makino's baby was born during the Strahd's absence and we know Ace had a habit of wandering around Dawn Island close to Fusha village. Perhaps one of these visits turned out to be more than just a casual meetup. Ace, despite his devil may care attitude, always had a sense of responsibility, especially towards Luffy and his loved ones. Could it be that, after realizing he might have a child on the way, Ace felt compelled to protect them from afar, watching over Fusha village like a guardian angel? Since Ace seems too young to bang Makino, maybe Garp was the one who did the deed. What if Monkey D. Garp, the marine hero, who loves to pound people a lot, is the surprise daddy of Makino's baby? We all know, Makino has a soft spot for strong and admirable figures, and who fits the bill better than the legendary Garp? Perhaps their shared admiration for Luffy led to some secretive and passionate encounters, resulting in a little marine in the making. Garp has always been protective of Luffy and Ace. His close ties with Makino could have led to a blossoming relationship, resulting in a bond that went beyond mere friendship. Could Garp's sense of duty and responsibility have extended to fatherhood in Fusha Village? Given Garp's frequent visits to Fusha Village and his close relationship with Makino, it is entirely possible that their friendship turned into something more intimate when nobody was watching. After all, a hardworking marine like Garp deserves to squeeze out every bit of that stress accumulated in his nuts, right? This might seem a little out of blue, but another person who could have possibly given Makino a big fat pounding is believe it or not, Yonko Boggy D Clown. Okay now, we all know who Oda was talking about when he said that person. There is only one character everyone would know about in the story. That is a large enough figure for God Oda to come out saying that person. The obvious answer is Buggy D Star Clown. We know Buggy's thingamajiggy can freely detach from his body. So what if to take revenge on both Shanks and Luffy, he blew the backstab of Makino using his 100 inch portable Johnson.
Maybe. I'm going a little too far, so let's get on track with two more sensible answers. One of the two most likely mates is, believe it or not, the fan favorite. Whoop slap, whoop slap. Maybe a bit on the older side, but age is just a number, right? Perhaps his wisdom and gentle demeanor won Makino's heart, leading to a romantic rendezvous that resulted in a surprise bundle of joy. Don't let Whoop Slap's age fool you. He's seen his fair share of adventures and exploits in his youth. Perhaps in these daring adventures, he developed a strong wisdom to make use of any opportunity to slap its big fat meat inside hot girls. Hence the name Whoop Slap, a certified expert at slapping the whoop. As one of the village elders, Whoop Slap has always been a close best friend to Makino. Maybe their deep bond evolved into a more intimate relationship, proving that age is no barrier when it comes to love or unexpected parenthood. Given the close-knit nature of Fusha Village, it is entirely possible that Whoop Slap and Makino's relationship remained a well-guarded secret among the villagers. After all, who would suspect an ugly old village hag in his 90 banging a hot green bakery and having a secret love child? The most likely mate out of the final two is Drumroll, Shanks. Contrary to all other characters which I have mentioned so far, Shanks by far has solid evidence to back his fatherhood status. Let me explain. In one of the manga panels, we see Whoop Slap wearing a shirt riddled with asses. By ass, I mean the letter S, not the ass your dirty mind is thinking. Maybe or that deliberately included this symbolism to hint his fan that the S is there to represent Shanks is indeed that baby boy's father. Also, it is worth noting that the manga's official coloring showed a kind of brown green plus red hair color to Makino's side. But let's get to the most important thing. Chapter 806 and Chapter 838 cover pages could be a strong clue to back this Shanks Makino scandal. In Chapter 806, the cover page features the Dan holding Makino's side and we see Makino grabbing the almost identical sake bottle as Shanks. Fast forward to Chapter 838. In this cover page, we see Shanks holding a newspaper wearing some form of wedding attire in the background. We see a happy Ben Beckman and it says, the bottom note on the cover page reads, at a wedding that takes place within the ruins of a certain island. Maybe this is hinting towards Shanks and Makino's wedding, suggesting that this time round, most of the fans out there are near enough correct that Shanks is indeed the biological father to Makino's child. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out other more interesting long form videos of mine. That's it for today. Peace.